Hey all, this is Lucy, and I just thought I'd do some gameplay and show what I have on my farm with the Halloween house decoration here, and then also the stand decoration here. And these have crows seem to be the theme this year for Halloween, and I think it's pretty cool. I definitely will enjoy having that. And I have all of Maggie's decorations, so it was a no-brainer to just add in these ones as well. Once you have all of them, it's really easy to just add in whatever it is that they decide to add at that time. So the truck works pretty good, but I don't think it really seems very Halloween-ish. I kind of wish it had the crows land on it and fly off maybe when you sent it, but oh well. And then one of the other things I did on my big farm was I gave everybody Halloween hats and decorations for themselves. So everybody got either a bat hat or whatever their normal fall decoration is. And so I liked some of both on this one. So I gave some bat hats and some pumpkin bodies. And I think they turned out really cute. So I really like the bat hat. That was a really nice addition to the hat collection. I'm not huge into the hats, but I've got a lot of hats. But the bat was, it seemed particularly creative to me for some reason. So get my goats into hats. And I don't really like the vampire outfits. I thought I would check. It just looks like an old man to me. So I think I decided to stick them all in bat hats. And it's nice that we have a lot of variety, a lot of choices that you can... I mean, you can literally stick them in a hat for anything. I like the elf hats, but it's not Christmas. And if you notice, one of my goats has a birthday hat on, and all of the rest of them had balloon hats. So they were celebrating the birthday hat's birthday. And now it's Halloween, so they won't be celebrating that anymore. I can't figure out why it keeps showing that you have got something. And even if I get it on my small farms, it shows up in my big farm. Like I have I need to open it or put it out. And I even tried putting it out sometimes and putting it back in. And it still shows it's some kind of a glitch that they have messed up with the last update. It does make it easy to get to new prizes that you've won. So that's nice always try to feed all of my animals. It gives lots of drop items. Anything free is good. I always run out of bacon. I can't believe I have not. I had, um, oh, what is his name? Not Rose, but the other one, Ernest. I had Ernest running, and he turned all of Rose's milk into cream, so that kept him busy, but Rose also did bacon for me, and that's why I have some. And movie tickets, diamond, can't beat that, and an axe. already bought all those and here is all of my collection complete I always like to see them fill in I'm easily entertained I wish they would add some new um, like custom decorations that you can do to win diamonds like they had before. I've got all of those, so it'd be fun to get new ones. Okay, so here's Greg's farm, and you'll see that there are tons of new decorations. There is this turkey sculpture, or statue, whatever you want to call it, and next to it is an acorn lantern, if you notice that, and also the crow path. I don't know what they call that. So let's see what else we see here. He is fully decorated for fall and Halloween. He has some of the new spider web pads. I don't have any yet. 
and also the tree that we are able to buy today. That is cute teepeed tree. Oh, I didn't notice the smiley face and nose on the tree. That's cute. And let's see what else we got. Is there some older Halloween decorations? I feel like everybody else sees the stuff and I don't. And here is the new jack-o'-lantern that has the crow popping out of it that we can also buy today. Let's see here, some more spider web paths. There's a cornucopia and some more crow paths. That is neat. The crow paths we can get today as well as part of the diamond package. I haven't gotten any. It's $10 for just one of them. I thought that was a little pricey. And here are the prize winning squash. Looks like a county fair type theme. There it was also the pumpkin arbor. I didn't stop on it for some reason. And if I remember right, there wasn't anything else over here. I don't recognize that. Does anybody recognize a soccer ball? Isn't he sitting on a soccer ball? I'm not big into soccer, so if it has something to do with the soccer, I, nothing. I got nothing on it. But I'd be interested to see if we win that. And does anybody remember if that is something we've already had? I don't recognize it. So let's look at his town. He's got another TP tree. I like the hay fencing. It looks very fallish. Don't really see anything new here. He's moved some of his decorations around, but mostly they're the same. There's that bird one from before. And then I wonder, does he finally get his walruses? Because they did the update and poor Greg didn't get his walruses. There's their houses. A walrus house. So they've got to be on here somewhere. I probably went right past him. Well, they're very good at hiding, I would say. Everybody else probably saw it and I didn't see it. Are they on here? Oh, well, there they are. There they are. Were they behind the elephants or something before? Oh, dear. I didn't even notice. So there's the two new walruses. Greg has them. I don't have them yet. I've got a good start on getting them, but not, not yet. I still haven't opened my global event prize, so I got 10 diamonds. Thanks for joining me today, guys, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. This is Lucy, and heyday the day away.